Hello guys, today I'm working on the 2008 Mazda Tribute, same as for the Escape. Uh, and the complaint is that there is a moonroof leak on this car. And when I looked in here, so the water was just pouring through uh, driver's side front corner. And if you see all this frame of the roof is all rusted. Also, uh, there was a big gap and gap between the seal, this seal and the roof itself. So basically you want it all the time to be just leveled with your roof, maybe just a little bit uh, above. Uh, it was way down, it was like quarter inch down, so there was actual gap between the roof and the seal, so water was just pouring. To adjust that, uh, you have four bolts inside. It's D25, torque screw, you get them loose, you get it on a roof level, and then you slide them up or down and get them tight. So you can see that this, how it was before, it was like quarter inch below the level same thing over on this corner and there are two more on the other side so first of all you want to get it leveled uh, but still like after i got it leveled the water was still coming through and it was actually i don't know if you can see coming through this tiny hole over here there is actually a hole in a metal so what happened water gets under the seal and then it goes all the way to the interior of the car and because of the frame is all rusted i don't think the change in the seal or liner will make a difference so what i will try to do i'll try to clean it with brake clean underneath and then apply transparent silicone and we'll see if it works and if it stopped the leak. So let's start with the cleaning. So to get in, I'm just using, using a, oops, sorry. A little screwdriver, uh, brake clean and the uh, rag. So I will apply some brake clean and put my rag over the screwdriver and get under it just like that so we see that it cleans all the dirt from underneath so i'll continue it uh, through all the perimeter of the moon roof and then we will start siliconing so now uh, when it's all clean I will apply masking tape both on the glass part and on the rubber part just to avoid any cleaning of the silicone afterwards. So just with a small piece over here, just go straight on the edge. This is covers just the rubber piece. And then another one just to cover the glass to avoid any silicone. To go on the glass where we don't need it. On the corners, we we'll probably just go over and cut it with the utility knife. Make sure that your utility knife is sharp. So that's what I will do all over the perimeter. And after that we will apply some sealant. Ok, 
Okay guys, while doing this I came up with a little bit easy strategy. So instead of applying two pieces, one on top, one on the bottom, you can just apply one if it's white tape over top and then press it to see a nice edge where your rubber seal ends. And then just slowly go along that edge and cut the tape through way easier when way faster and it will be way more accurate so there are no gaps so no silicone will be on the rubber or so basically now you you have clear cut and clear taped area so let me get this silicone ready and i'll be back in a second so this is the silicone I'm using today, it's transparent uh, for windows doors and siding. Uh, this is really good quality, I tried it a few times. So when you cut the tip, you want to be it as small as possible because it's a tiny, tiny space between the rubber and the glass. So let me try and see how it works. So you want to get under the seal. Let's start from the middle. So we need to hold the nozzle and just go, 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 go. Yeah, ideally you want to see some silicone coming out and that's what is happening at the moment. If I press the seal, and you're out. So then we just press it tight. I don't know if you can see, guys, but there is silicone coming out, and that's what we need. And that's what we will do for the rest of the seal. So now when I'm done, all the parameters, I'll just take the paper towel and press it tight to get all the excess silicone out. So nothing will come out after we remove our tape. This is this silicone is quite sick, so don't be afraid to put some pressure on it. And we are applying pressure on the rubber mostly, just to get all the silicone from underneath of it. So now we can remove the tape, and hopefully there is no signs of silicone. On, on the vehicle itself. It's coming off nice and easy. Now my gloves are all in silicone, so I need to remove my gloves to do the job. So as you can see, the rubber is clean. Hopefully the glass is clean too. And the glass is clean too. And it's filled with silicone under the seal. So there is no way the water can get, can get in right now. But I will test it in a second and let you know guys if this technique works. This is first time that I'm dealing with this issue. Hopefully I'm dealing it with it the right way and the customer will be happy. All right.
Yeah, another thing to mention, I kind of forgot about it. Sometimes on the edge uh, of the cab, there is a rusty spot. And then it's usually not even, not flat. And the water can get in. So open your roof, um, inspect it if there is any rust. If there is, clean it, sand it, prime it and paint it. But now let me do the test for the leaks and I'll be back with you in a second. So now we will gently pour some water on top. So it gets into the every corner of the seal. And we will go inside and check. So guys, uh, looks like everything is dry here. Uh, you can see that there was a drop of silicone came through the hole. So it means that it's all good and sealed. Thanks for watching and do it yourself.